Hi, I'm Tony and welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Vice Montana 150 gloves. They're long cuffed winter gloves that cost £99.99. <laughs> The first and most noticeable thing about the Vice Montana 150 gloves is the length of the cuff. The cuffs are a good two to three inches longer than most regular bike gloves and that means you've got a much improved chance of there being no gap between your jacket and your gloves and you should get a better seal for riding in winter. The outer of the gloves is made from polyester which is mostly across the back with some sections of leather on the two forefingers and also around the wrist. There's an accordion stretch panel to improve flexibility and also some scotch light panelling here and across the fingers. So a car's headlight will strike that and make you much more visible to them. And then the leather material is used on the sides, down the outside and also on the inner section. The palm is also made from that leather material with an extra layer across the heel of the palm and a foam pad in there that just relieves the pressure of the handlebars as you ride along, making things a bit more comfortable. There's a synthetic suede section across here to increase the grip and also protect that leather underneath from premature wear as you're riding along. The fastener is a relatively common cuff and wrist restraint, though the wrist restraint is on the underside of the hand where it can do a better job of keeping that glove on your hand if it needs to. There's also a rubber blade along the length of the left forefinger which you can use to clear rain from your visor as you're riding along to make sure you can see where you're going. On the inside there's a Thinsulate liner. Thinsulate is really common material in bike gloves but this is what they call a Thinsulate Supreme liner to give it a nice soft touch feel that you don't get with regular Thinsulate and you can you can feel that difference. There is something about these gloves when you put them on where you just think oh yeah that's really comfortable and really soft and the Thinsulate within there is what they call a Thinsulate 150. So that's the 150 that's in the title, the Montana 150 gloves. And it means that a square meter of the Thinsulate thermal liner in this glove would weigh 150 grams. That's quite a high Thinsulate rating for bike gloves. A lot of others use a thinner lining, but it doesn't tell in the thickness of the gloves. They don't feel particularly weighty. They don't feel particularly thick when riding. I wore these for the riding part of this video in autumn conditions and I was quite comfortable. I would say equally when you're really down into the depths of low temperatures around about freezing, you're probably gonna want something a little bit more substantial. Waterproofing is looked after by a Hippora lining, a membrane that's breathable and waterproof. That again is a really tried and tested membrane that you often find in gloves around about this price. One thing to note about these gloves is that the fingertips are not touchscreen compatible. That's an increasingly common feature in bike gloves now. If you need to operate your phone while wearing gloves, these probably aren't the ones for you. That breathable waterproof membrane is held in place inside these gloves by what's called McFit, which is where the liners are glued to the shell to stop them coming out when you take your hands out, which is a really frustrating thing on a lot of gloves and it's not going to happen with these thanks to that McFit system within. Overall, these are a decent pair of winter gloves. I like that McFit system. When you take your hand out, everything stays where it should. And this overlap means you get a good seal between jacket and glove. In really cold temperatures, you might want something more substantial, but from around six or seven degrees upwards, I would say these gloves become a decent option. I hope that gives a full picture of the Vice Montana 150 gloves, but if you have any questions, please pop them in the comment section below and we'll look into it and come back to you with an answer as soon as we can. Thanks for watching.